In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the best looking picture out of your Mavic using LUTs. We're going to use these free LUTs here that are available from Ground Control. They have a LUT here that works with the D-Log profile. And you can see in the picture here the before and after what it looks like. It's a simply a case of getting a free download, so put your name and email address in and click subscribe to download. It'll send you a link to get the LUT. The LUT um, you'll then install here. It's called Ground Control D-Log LUT. So how does it work? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to set your Mavic to record in D-Log. To do that, launch the DGI Go app and then go to the settings. And first of all, go to style. You need to set a custom style of minus one minus three and minus three. Then the color needs to be set to D-Log. That's it. So now I'm in my video editing software. This is Final Cut Pro. And I have some footage here from the Mavic that is shot using that D-Log profile. I also shot some footage using the normal profile on the DJI Go app as well. And you can see that that looks a lot more vibrant, a lot better. That's clearly, clearly the winner right now compared to this D-Log footage. But now we're going to apply this custom LUT to improve our D-Log footage and now see which one looks better. The way that you install LUTs depends upon the video editing software you're using and which plugin you use. I'm using MLUT by MotionFX and to use it all I need to do is select my clip, drag this onto it and then load the LUT that I have downloaded earlier from Ground Control. And then watch what happens once the LUT is applied. You see that? See the difference? This is the LUT off and this is the LUT on. A huge improvement. But which footage is better? Is this LUT footage better or is this normal mode footage better? Well, just to compare the two, LUT normal, LUT, normal. There's a few very noticeable differences. First of all, take a look at the sky. In the sky, we can clearly see clouds, the blue sky. Whereas if we look at the regular mode from the Mavic, everything's washed out. We've totally lost all sorts of detail there. And if we take a look at things like the RGB color parade, this is the D-Log footage with a LUT applied. You can see we've got a pretty healthy set there for red, green, and blue. Whereas if we look here, we've got blown out colors in each one of those color bands. So uh, a much better look using this. Now you can adjust these LUTs. Um, and in fact, I would recommend in some cases, maybe dialing down the mid-tones or dialing up the mid-tones depending on the footage. I'm actually gonna raise the mid-tones just a little bit to brighten things up because I think in some places, this footage was a little dark if we compare the footage now, this is with the LUT and without the LUT. I think you'd agree that the LUT looks a lot better. So when you're shooting your Mavic footage, if you use this LUT, set it to D-Log, and then set the custom settings to minus one, minus three, minus three, I think you're gonna be very pleased with the results.